Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Well, I'm going to get straight into it. Um, we're going to continue um, with our theme um, of the critical zero day vulnerability, um, which was reported uh, and a patch was published by Broadcom um, on the 4th of March 2025. And um, if you don't know about this, uh, then, well, I think you can only be living under a rock because the Internet really is sort of kind of blown up about um, this zero day vulnerability um, and the issues that it's been causing um, primarily with people that don't have um, support agreements. Anyway, so in the previous videos, um, in part 79 and 80, uh, if you're on ESXi 7.0, uh, we've covered the, the, the dirty method of updating to 7.03s for sugar. Um, and in part 80, 86, um, 86 and 87, we've covered um, ESXi 8.03, upgrading that to 8.03d uh, using the dirty method or the over the air method. Um, if you've got internet access, um, if you're standalone, um, with that VMware vCenter server, um, then you can patch OTA over the air direct from the internet with no issues. Um, however, if you don't have access to the internet um, and you can't do an OTA upgrade um, or you're using VLCM and your VLCM um, with vCenter server doesn't have access to the internet anyway, then this is another method for you. This is using the the depot file, uh, which is available from Broadcom uh, for 6.7, 7 and 8. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the depot file to update ESXi 6.7. Yes, 6.7. Um, and it's interesting because the official um, VMSA 2025-004 uh, security announcement from Broadcom about this um, specifies that VMware ESXi product version 8 has an issue, um, ESXi 7 has an issue, VMware Workstation has an issue, but it doesn't actually list 6.7 as having an issue. I don't know why. Um, I know 6.7 is end of life. But Broadcom have decided because this zero day critical update is so bad and it's been discovered in the wild and being used in the wild um, that they have actually basically issued a patch for 6.7 and 6.5. Um, so it's a bit strange that it's not covered in VMFA SA 2025-004. But if you're on 6.7 or if you're on 6.5, um, there is a patch for it. Uh, and there is a separate um, release note uh, for this as well. Um, so it's a bit odd that it's not covered in the original VMFA, VMSA 2025-004 announcement. I don't really know why. You'd have to ask Broadcom. Uh, but anyway, so there is an, an official um, VMware ESXi 6.7 patch release. There is also an official 6.5 patch release as well, but that is only available to customers that are on an extended support agreement. So if you're on 6.5 and you're on an extended support agreement, um, then there is a patch available for you, a depot file. Um, you can follow exactly the same steps that I'm going to show you in this video. This is for 6.7. Uh, but if you substitute the file names and use exactly the same commands, then you can update 6.5 as well. Um, and you can use exactly the same commands and different files for 7.0 and 8.0 as well for any depot file and do exactly the same thing. But I will do videos for 7.0 and 8.0 because I know that you ask, do you have a video for 7 or 8? So we're going to get into this. Uh, so again, I've already got SSH sessions into a 6.7 host. And this is running 6.70 build 23084122. Now, some of you out there might not be on this release because, again, this was a release that was um, it was not a baked ISO release. It was, again, another patch release in 2024 by uh, Broadcom. So you may not be on this release, but doesn't matter. Um, using a depot file, um, we're going to show you today, will 
upgrade uplift any version to the 2025 version of 6.70 so if you watch these videos before then i've done a vmware space dash v which shows me the version and i'm going to use um, tail space dash s var log esx update dot log so i can basically get a eyeball on what the um, esx update log file is doing and whether or not we're going to get any errors and then the next thing i'm going to do and this is a question that um, often uh, comes up. Um, people have asked me, well, how do I know what profile to choose? Because we'll need the profile in the next command that we use to update ESXi 6.7. So the command that I'm using is ESX CLI um, space software space profile space update dash P, a minus sign P, followed by the got that wrong already okay apologies so let's just rewind there the command that i'm going to use to display the profile in the depot file is esx cli space software space sources space profile space list dash d minus sign d and then the path to your depot file now it's rather odd because in 6.5 and 6.7 um the depot files don't have the word depot in them normally they do but for some reason in 6.5 and 6.7 they don't so again and i'm going to repeat this again because i got many people ask me um they, they say that they can't see the commands that i'm typing um, i have replayed these videos and i have looked at these videos on my phone uh, and on a pc and i can see quite easily the commands that i'm typing and that's why i actually basically also spell them out to you as well and i'm hopefully you can understand my accent so again esx cli space software space sources space profile space list dash d followed by the path to your depot file which normally we would store on a data store so in this particular case forward slash vms forward slash volumes forward slash data store one that's the friendly name of my data store uh, followed by the depot file which in this particular case the depot file um, for um, 6.7 and we'll have a little look in the patch release here so the download file name is esx67 zero dash twenty twenty five zero three zero zero one dash zip and i'm just actually going to go back to this session here just to refresh this so it doesn't time out uh, and this is actually basically logged in to our esx 6.7 host and when that refreshes we can see here that it also turns around to tell us that it's running esxi 6.70 2024 0304001 dash standard so back to our ssh sessions so i'm now just going to hit enter and that's going to have a little think about it and it's actually going to show us the profiles that are available in our depot file that we can use to update now i have explained this before in the previous video quite simply dash standard includes vmware tools often when an esxi host is updated the VMware tools are also updated at the same time. So we would normally use the ESXi-67-0-2025-03040 dash standard profile. If for some reason you wanted to use the other profile, dash no tools, then you would use that version. So that's where the profiles come from, because it has been a question that's been asked where do i find the profiles you can also find the profiles in the release notes as well so if you don't have the release notes to hand then you can use that previous command so like with all other commands uh when we've done uh videos with the dirty method or the ota over the air method uh, we use the same command so again we're using esx cli uh, software profile update now this is another question that comes up some people basically turn around and say well can you use install you can you can use profile install or you can use profile update 
So ESX Software Profile Update dash P. Now this is where we specify the profile name. So that's the profile name from above ESXi dash 6.7.0 dash 2025-0304001 dash standard. Um, you probably hear that blackbird in the background there. There's one thing that noise cancelling doesn't do, and that's filter out bird song. So we just listen carefully. You can hear a blackbird singing in the background. I'm not outside in the in the shed, <laughs> although I probably have more space in there. Um, I've got my windows open because it's really really warm in the in the lab here. It stopped. Maybe it's singing because it can hear me. Anyway, okay, I digress. So that's the profile followed by dash D, and basically we have the path to um, the depot file. I'm going to use a dash dash no dash hardware dash warning. Um, I don't think this particular host is going to balk because it's got an unsupported CPU. And I'm, and if you've watched these videos before, you know that I like to do a dash dash dry run. So I'm going to do a dash dash dry run, followed by enter. We're going to start to see the top screen there, scroll up with lots of stuff, and it's going to finish. And if we have a little look here, the update result message, dry run only, host not changed, the following installers will be applied. So... If we didn't have the dash dash dry run dash option, um, then our host will be updated and then we could do a reboot. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing again, but this time I'm actually basically going to, going to delete the dry run and I'm going to hit enter. This probably isn't going to take very long, I wouldn't have thought, uh, because the ESX 6.7 um, ISO uh, or update is not that big and um, 6.7 really is not as large the footprint's not as large really as seven and eight so this is fairly quick so while that's happening while that's doing that if it takes any longer than this i'll speed this up in post but i'll just remain quiet and you might be able to hear that blackbird i think it's a blackbird could be wrong could be a great tip okay so that's how it'll look uh, the update completed successfully, but the system needs to be rebooted. Yes, as, as per normal. Reboot required, true. Um, so I'm just going to drop back to uh, our host here, and I'm going to issue a, a reboot, followed by that. And our SSH sessions will get disconnected. Uh, we'll try logging in again. Uh, so we'll give that a few seconds to to reboot uh and just um another uh reminder um that please don't ask me for the depot files um if i i have no distribution rights to give you software that basically is owned by broadcom um the depot files if available to you will be available in the broadcom portal if you have entitlements i you have a current contract and you have a site id for support for 6.77 or 8.0 um, i cannot give you the depot files i get many requests uh, daily um, can you give us the depot files can you give us depot files no i can't i'm sorry uh, i will be breaking the end user license agreement that we have with broadcom if i was distributing the depot files um, and again, you only need to use the depot files um, if you don't have access to the internet. Unfortunately, 6.7 and 6.5 are because they're end of support. You can no longer use the OTA method, the dirty method, uh, to update these. So you are going to have to rely on having a support contract for 6.5 or 6.7 to be able to use the depot files to update these hosts. So I'm hoping with that, that our host has restarted so if i go back and do a it does actually say the host is rebooting let's do a refresh uh, and that's login let's just big x out of that and okay so if we now look at our host it says updated is 6.7.0 dash 2025 and just really to prove that 
um, if I just restart a footy session here and do a VMware dash V then you can see that the build number has changed and if we just go back up to uh, I'll just check see whether or not that I did a VMware V in this session here so you can see the difference uh, maybe it wasn't maybe it was a session so uh, VMware is it's high 6.7 dash zero build 2451418 if we just roll back up here uh, I did a VMware V on here somewhere can't easily see it um, no can't easily see it uh, not that spending a lot of time on it but anyway so there you go that's how we update um, ESXi 6.7 uh, to the latest build of ESXi 6.7 patch release ESXi 6.7-2025-03001 uh, which fixes our critical zero day update um, using a depot file now obviously previously I've updated I've uploaded that depot file using WinSCP or SSH or SFTP or whatever tools that you use to the data store um, I've enabled SSH um, on that host so that I can actually basically log in and perform that under update so simple and quick 16 minutes so again thanks very much for watching another episode of Hancock's VMware half hour uh, if you've liked this video then please give it a thumbs up but whatever you do uh, don't forget to subscribe and if you don't like this video then well don't like it and please thumbs down uh, but come back again uh, to watch me repeat um, the procedure uh, for 7.0 where we update 7.0 to 7.03s for sugar using a depot file and uh, come back when we do exactly the same again for ESXi 8.03c to 8.03d so once again uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, goodbye and uh, good afternoon to you goodbye now